Have you ever wondered what it takes to create a building that can withstand earthquakes and also offer top-notch employee amenities? Located in the heart of Silicon Valley, Apple Park is an architectural marvel and a testament to Apple's cutting-edge technology and engineering prowess. This impressive campus is equipped with state-of-the-art anti-earthquake technology that makes it one of the most resilient buildings in the world. This includes 700 large steel saucers buried beneath the ground, a ventilation system inspired by Formula One race cars, a carbon fiber roof, and even medical and entertainment services for employees. In this video, we'll take a tour of Apple Park's inspiring architecture where design meets resilience and innovation. Apple Park, the iconic headquarters of Apple Inc., is located in Cupertino, California, and is a marvel of modern engineering. The Apple Park, a colossal building resembling a spaceship, was unveiled by the company in 2017. Before Apple Park, the company's headquarters were located at the One Infinite Loop campus, which was inaugurated in 1993 and had a capacity of accommodating 5,000 employees. However, as the company rapidly expanded, Steve Jobs anticipated that this facility would not suffice. Over the course of a decade, he envisioned a larger campus that would combine his passion for environmental sustainability with his love for exceptional design. The building was designed by the celebrated British architect Norman Foster, renowned for his expertise in high-tech architecture. The Apple Park, the new headquarters of tech behemoth Apple, situated in the verdant expanse of Cupertino, California, resembles a colossal spacecraft, covering an impressive area of 176 acres. This spectacular architectural masterpiece is arguably one of the most awe-inspiring campuses in the world. Apple's vast spaceship campus, which serves as the workplace for the majority of its staff, has not only lured visitors who are greeted at the Apple Park Visitor Center, but also has had an impact on the housing market in the surrounding vicinity. The innovative and futuristic design of the spaceship is noteworthy for its integration of sustainable practices. This building is one of the most energy efficient in the world, and has been awarded the highest certificate attainable in the LEED Sustainable Building Rating System, LEED Platinum Certification. Notably, it is the most massive building in North America to receive this accolade. The 2.8 million square foot main building is considered to be one of the most energy efficient buildings on Earth and currently houses over 12,000 employees. Apple Park is a vast campus designed to be resilient to earthquakes using innovative anti-earthquake technology that actively works against ground shaking. This technology involves concentric circles of steel disks beneath the building's foundation, connected by rubber elastomers and filled with sand. Additionally, the park offers wellness features for workers including physical therapy services, a fitness center, and yoga studios making it a desirable location. Apple Park's impressive anti-earthquake technology is designed to make sure that the buildings on its campus are resilient and safe during an earthquake. The primary goal of this technology is to create structures that can withstand seismic forces while remaining aesthetically pleasing. To achieve this, engineers have incorporated various measures into the design of all Apple Park buildings. The campus also features an exclusive power source and a spacious atrium filled with various types of apple trees. The offices where iPhone and MacBook models are conceived are located two levels beneath the building. The foundation of the building comprises 692 large stainless steel saucers that allow the building to move up to four feet in any direction in the event of an earthquake. This movement can be likened to an ice cube on a plate that moves sideways 
with the ice cube maintaining its relative position by moving with the plates. Joni Ive, Apple's chief design officer and the late Steve Jobs, Apple's co-founder, believed that the base isolation was necessary to protect the company's headquarters and the knowledge within it. Mr. Ive spent four years renovating his San Francisco home to make it more earthquake resistant. According to Mr. Ive, Steve Jobs was influenced by the innovative engineering approaches used in earthquake-resistant building design in Japan. While about 9,000 buildings in Japan use some form of base isolation, only about 175 buildings in the United States, including Apple headquarters, use this technology. The specific base isolation system used by Apple is manufactured by Earthquake Protection Systems, which exports most of its products to earthquake-prone countries such as Peru, Turkey, and Ecuador. Apple Park has advanced saucers built two floors underground to protect the building during earthquakes. The natural ventilation system allows for ideal temperatures by inhaling cool air through its canopies and exhaling warm air through its chimneys. The building has large open spaces with glass walls and entryways, providing flexible space and natural flow. It also has a 100,000 square foot facility with a two-story yoga room, laundry facilities, and a physical therapy space. The park includes an impressive 165-foot diameter, 20-foot tall, circular glass building with a carbon fiber roof, seating 1,000 people in its auditorium below the glass structure. Additionally, Apple Park's Visitor Center contains a 10,000 square foot Apple Store, a 2,000 square foot cafe, an observation deck to view the campus, plus an augmented reality experience for visitors to explore a scale model of Apple Park. With such features in place, Apple Park can provide a safe and efficient workplace for those who work there. It is a clear symbol of Apple's commitment to great design, the environment, and future technology. Apple Park is a modern and sustainable workplace designed to integrate with the natural environment. The building's design incorporates ample windows and glass walls for natural light and scenic views. Outdoor spaces such as terraces, parks, and meadows are available for employees to relax and socialize while surrounded by nature. Apple has planted 7,500 trees and native plants on its grounds, promoting sustainability and local biodiversity. The building's unique ring design allows for natural ventilation for up to nine months of the year, reducing the need for heating and cooling. The facility also includes a state-of-the-art fitness and wellness center equipped with the latest technology demonstrating Apple's commitment to employee satisfaction and well-being. Overall, Apple Park represents a model for modern and sustainable workplaces. Apple Park's anti-earthquake technology is designed to protect occupants from up to magnitude 9 earthquakes, including a large foundation, seismic dampers, and base isolators. Evan Rice, a structural engineer, helped make Apple Park one of the safest buildings in the Silicon Valley area. However, many poorly constructed buildings in the area, including those occupied by other companies, are at a high risk of collapse during an earthquake. Even code-compliant structures can suffer severe damage, and it's impossible to make Silicon Valley completely earthquake-proof due to the susceptibility of transportation infrastructure utility systems, and homes. The system allows the building to inhale air through its canopies and exhale warm air outside, maintaining an ideal temperature without using any heating or cooling for nine months of the year. The glass walls and entryways offer flexible space that can be easily adjusted to optimize the area while providing employees with their own personal workspace. Despite the impressive engineering of Apple Park's anti-earthquake technology, the project has faced criticism for its potential environmental impact, cost, and the impact on local communities. Concerns include increased traffic congestion, displacement of lower-income families, and higher property prices. 
While Apple is taking steps to address these concerns, citizens in the Silicon Valley community remain skeptical about the project's overall impact. The technology developed for Apple Park could serve as a model for building more resilient and sustainable communities in the face of natural disasters and other challenges. Overall, Apple Park represents a significant achievement in engineering and sustainability that sets a benchmark for other organizations to follow. The Apple Park is an engineering feat like no other. Its anti-earthquake technology, breathable buildings, and ambitious design have created a space that will surely stand the test of time. It's an impressive testament to the power of innovation and future-focused thinking, something we can all aspire to. We hope you've enjoyed exploring this incredible building with us. Until next time, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.